Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyphenomation.com. Today in this video, we'll talk about how to install TestNG plugin in Eclipse. The moment you start working with Selenium or Playwright or any other testing framework with it, which is related to Java, and if you want to use TestNG, you can use TestNG as a dependency. But the moment you start running, you will not find any option because in order to work uh, from Eclipse, if you want to uh, get this option called run as TestNG test or TestNG suite, we need to install one TestNG plugin. Just to give you some background, I'm using right now uh, latest version of Selenium 4.29 and I'm using latest version of TestNG which is 7.11.0. So since I'm using TestNG as a dependency, I'm able to use this at the rate test annotation, right? But I'm not able to execute. So in order to install, there are two ways to install, I will show you both. So first option is I'm um, using by the way Mac in case if you're using Windows you can also follow the same. Uh, some background I'm using Eclipse which is December 2024 which is December like three months back two months back 4.34 and the reason why I'm showing you this information because if I install plugin in this version it will be applicable for this version let's say tomorrow you you update to a new version you have to uh, follow the same process again. Let's say you continue with 4.35 or 4.36 in future, you have to follow the same process. So again, in order to start, click on help section, you will find two options. One is install new software and one is Eclipse Marketplace. I personally recommend Eclipse Marketplace because it's easy to use plus you will be getting all these plugins directly from the marketplace. They all are verified. So go to the search icon. But here you can see we have recent popular favorite installed one. So right now by default when you install Eclipse, this is the default plugin you will be getting. I will click on search and search for TestNG. Click on go or just hit enter. You will see this option called TestNG for Eclipse. You can see the total installed 2.22 million 21,000 last month. Let's click on install. Now the moment you click on install, it will give you two options. One is TestNG which is required mandatory and one is optional but it's good to use if it's basically for Maven integration. Select all the checkboxes, click on confirm. Now you have to accept the terms condition. So I will say I accept the terms conditions and click on finish. You can see it's taking some time now. It's installing the software. It will download some artifacts. It's downloading now and once it is done it will ask you a few more confirmation yeah now this is uh, one thing where many people are confused should they accept or not because it says do you trust content originally originally which is coming from following authorities so click on this checkbox so basically you are selecting all plus you also have to select this always trust all authorities now it will give you this kind of confirmation and don't worry there's nothing risk here but if you want you can read about it since we are working on open source and generally we'll get this kind of confirmation so say yes i accept the risk and click on trust selected so you can see now and again it is asking me again one more time trust artifacts these are unsigned one so i will say again always trust all content and again i accept the risk again guys please uh, make sure uh, the moment you're working with open source these kind of unsigned content you might come and until you don't accept it will not allow you so by default you have to say i accept the risk and trust selected now it is taking some time within few seconds it will be done and it will ask me to restart my clips i will click on restart now it will take some time in the meanwhile this is their official website which is testng.org and if you go to download section and if you go to eclipse plugin okay let it finish first yeah now since i have installed the plugin you can see we got two options now since we installed plugin i can directly run from here so the moment i run it says detected test engine version 7.11.0 it started my browser executed quickly and closed it plus if i want to execute now i will see this option called run as test engine test 
again if I select this started ran very fast and it closed the browser very easy process right go to Eclipse marketplace search for test ng uh, trust all the authorities trust all the artifacts and continue another option is by any chance if your marketplace does not have a, a, a test ng you can click on install new software and again if you read this documentation called Eclipse plugin and if you click on this link it will redirect here test ng hyphen eclipse download so you can just look for this url install from update site copy this url and paste here that's all now it is accepting it identified that you want test ng click on it next So it's calculating requirement dependency it will take again few seconds and once it will calculate the requirement dependencies it will again bring up uh, what exactly you want to install okay so after calculating it says uh, the two plugins one is guava plugin google core library for java and this is test ng p2 plugin now this says it is basically for depend other dependencies and this is the one now if you want to install them since I have already installed using marketplace but so it's not giving me option to uh, perform next because we already performed right but by any chance if marketplace is not working come here click on next again it will ask you to accept terms conditions and the rest of the process will remain same so that's a quick way to install test ng I hope it's clear try this from your side let me know if you face an issue and I will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care